SLURS is an acronym for the statewide law enforcement radio system. Uh, it consists of more than 2,000 radios and permits law enforcement, fire, emergency medical technician, and other first responders uh, to communicate better during emergencies. In 2016, the Department of Management Services went out on a bid to procure a new vendor for the SLURS 2 system which was an updated um, state-of-the-art P25 standard communication system. In March of 2018, DMS awarded the contract to a vendor. That contract was uh, challenged. And 13 months later, the state and the vendor had not reached agreement, so they decided to just walk away. Um, and at that point, the state decided to pursue an extension of the current contract with the current vendor. So the legislature last year um, appropriated money for the Department of Management Services to do a business case to design the new system and to go out on bid, which they recently did. Yeah. So we're more than four years uh, since the Department of Management Services went out on the bid, and we're no closer to a SLURS 2 system than we were then. So the, the immediate issues are the expiration of the contract on June 30th of this year. Uh, the equipment is getting older. It's becoming more obsolete. It's more difficult to get parts. And the state will end up owning that system. And they'll be responsible for uh, maintenance of the radios and all the other equipment and everything that goes with keeping slurs um, current. The other issue that is important is that uh, the SLURS has been funded uh, through surcharges, and there is a $3 surcharge on non-criminal motor vehicle accidents that expires June the 30th. So uh, unless the legislature takes some action to repeal that sunset, then a major source of SLURS funding will go away July 1 as well. In our report, Tax Watch recommends a couple of things. One is that um, it's in the best interest of the state for DMS and the current vendor to reach agreement on an extension. The second recommendation is for the legislature to take action to repeal the sunset of that $3 surcharge.